Jake and I are not even going to speak. We're just going to let you talk. The there ain't time. shit to talk about. <laughs> oh, there's some stuff to talk about. What are we even talking about? I don't even know what's going on this weekend. Oh, there, God, there's some yeah. things to talk about. We got there's some, one or some, two things going on. Some voodoo magic. That's what's it's really going on here. Crazy that almost a million, millions and millions of people's lives depend on a five seven Argentinian man to score a goal. Literally, my happiness throughout the rest of the year, and probably through uh, Q1 next year. Yeah, completely depends on this man. That I still think at times about uh, 2014. I'll just like if I can't sleep, I'll pull up the video and I'll just watch Neuer knee Iguain in the face six or seven times and mm. then go to bed crying. So that, that, that helps you, you go to sleep. I mean. I cry so hard that I physically exhaust myself. So, oh, okay. Well, yeah, in a way, put it that way that makes sense. <clears throat> it's like what I used to do when I was a baby. You just like cry and then you just fall asleep. Yeah, so like the, uh, the country of Argentina, pretty much for the past the past weeks. So are you feeling? Are you feeling confident? I, I don't know why felt, I asked. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you asked. Um. I feel proud. I feel okay. um I feel happy. I'm sorry, I'm cutting him off. Movement. When Connor talks about Argentina, does it not sound like a scripted press release? He I goes think full he's... corporate nine to five on us every time he we talk just... to Very diplomatic. Like, let me not say anything that can be taken out of context. He doesn't want to jinx did, it. Uh, we did good. It's a it's a <laughs> uh Anula Mufa, right? That's your that's your whole that shtick. is that was yeah. that's his whole yeah. shtick behind this whole thing, and so I think he does go very corporate. He goes very professional when he needs to talk about the lads. Oh, but he will let you know if they get a dub somehow. Oh, he'll fucking let you know after the fact, and he'll be like, "I always knew." I'm like a him. very I'm a very modest. I'm Thank a very you. humble in victory. Yeah. You can see me after the uh, Copa America. Um have a big jack made me i mean he went so far as to embody uh my my winning spirit by uh i think it was for my birthday or christmas maybe like a combination of the two he made me a custom poster that says uh well played brazil is uh exactly what it says still the most epic uh gift ever given i will say i'm gonna pat myself on the back uh for that one that really was uh, exceptional I don't think I don't think Connor uh, tells people or gloat or uh, you know boasts after the game because he he missing the episodes. He know where to be found after Argentina win. It's just you and me on here, Jake. Or I got to do a solo bid every that's time Argentina wins. This man disappears. That's because he's already three fourths into a bottle. Well, nobody rallied the troops. I, I actually right? really thought I was going to be uh, sober. Um, that being said, we met this dude. Named Why would Larry. you ever think that? Because I'm broke as shit, and I thought I was going to go to the game and then come home. That's I didn't fair. even make it into the Argentine bar here in New York that I made it the first time. I got there probably uh, like 10 minutes early. There was a line of over 100 people out the door, probably 100 to 200 people out the door. Um, like I couldn't get in. There. It was, yes, correct. I'll be getting there like an hour and a half early next time. Um, that being said, I went to this other bar uh, with uh, Josh, Jack's little brother, and uh, some uh, some friends that we met in line. And um, I met this dude named Larry. He's a white guy who loves to ski in Colorado, and he went to Argentina to ski one year, and he's been a Boca Juniors fan ever since. And he had like a vintage Argentina jersey he's on a at this bar. He's a, he's a colonizer. That's he's what I was about to say, Jake. Took the words right out of my mouth. So he was watching uh, the game, and Textbook then we definition. went back to that Argentina bar. And I mean, the man, the man must be well off because he must have bought me like four or five drinks, and uh, we were we were all hammered. And um, I mean, he so ain't I broke. Apologize. He's going skiing in Argentina. So yeah, you're like yeah. the sugar baby to this <laughs> random Argentine. <laughs> fan that isn't even argentinian i think i I think i'm i like to think of it more as like the uh the cultural plug so i brought him Mm. into the argentine fold that way whenever anybody was like oh you're like his translator he's like that guy's an american and i'm like whoa 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 he's a cool american and then i start singing to distract him and then the bloodthirsty argentine fans move along 
to the next poor, unsuspecting Brazilian that they find in their path. Mm. Well, we can't have you do that for the final because otherwise it's going to... I mean, you remember the, the opening the opening sequence to Avatar? It's like when the world needed him most, he vanished. That's what the Argentine followers of the channel are going to be thinking if your ass doesn't show up. Okay, it's gonna be I'll me be and here. Jake, like completely stoic, like, yeah, final kind of sucked. I guess Argentina won, but I mean, who cares? And then you're no, gonna be no, nowhere no, to be no, found. No, no. Nula move, I nula move. Retention's gonna move, tank. Fine. We're gonna no, lose. You can probably, scubs. you can probably chime in on your phone. That'd be kind of cool. Y'all won't be able to hear a goddamn word I'm saying. Mm, I, could yeah, I could barely hear what he was saying when he called me last time. Oh, oh, through his phone. You've tried that yeah. before. Oh no, he just called me. I think I like called him after the Argentina game trying oh. to talk to him because uh, I was with Josh. And uh, yeah, no, I couldn't hear Jack shit. Dude, have y'all been seeing how like half the French team is sick right now? Do y'all see that? I have seen articles about that. I don't know if What's they're going just on like, here. If that's just like some bullshit that trying some like dumb mind games that they're trying to play. That seems very, very coincidental. What is it? Two okay, points. so who who was out? Who was who was training separately today? It was Upamecano, Varan, and Teo Rabio. Hernandez, right. Rabios. Oh, Teo Hernandez. It's like their yeah. whole back line. There's like four more players got sick today. Yeah. I did see a tweet that apparently uh they're blaming the English for getting sick somehow. I don't know. That didn't make any how... sense to me. <laughs> just just from playing them? Like is that is that it? Did Declan Rice just go over and spit in all their water bottles? And say, well, they all French French him dirty. after the game. So, um, I mean, we've seen when Mbappe's been, you know, he gotten close a few times. Mbappe, God Giroud knows what happens in the locker room. But, uh, that is true. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. City of love. They were on some of that shit in the locker no, room. Pretty much. No, that was that was. Damn, it, that dude. was really good. They're, they're bringing uh, that Paris energy to Qatar. You know, I am an actor. I have done musicals wow. before. <laughs> I could tell. Guys, was, I, uh, if you if you want my honest opinion, I'm genuinely terrified about this game. Backline or no. <clears throat> I mean, they've got excellent um, subs. Uh, the French team plays cohesively. They, they're horrifying. They're a horrifying matchup. And... Um, Honestly, them and Germany were the two teams that I didn't want to meet. Um, and now here we are. Uh, now, I bet you'd rather face Germany right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, this Germany team. Give me this oh, booty shit. German team, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> no, but Argentina, Germany have history. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. We've we've got 2018 with France, and then probably some obscure game that I don't know about that uh, my Argentine homies are probably going to bring up in the chat and be like, you fucking idiot. How could you not remember the finalissima of <laughs> such and such tournament this yeah. and this yeah. year where Argentina inevitably pissed off some French fans, and now we hate them forever? Because um, Argentines don't have any friends. Um that being said, I, I am terrified. Uh, this is a beautiful Argentina team, but France is dangerous. France is dangerous. France is so dangerous. Um, I mean, what outright weaknesses do they have? I think we've discussed this. They're very boring to talk about because they really don't have any outright weaknesses besides they need some more vitamin C in their supplement routine because these boys are dropping like flies apparently I'll, I'll be interested to see who actually doesn't make that final game i don't i don't know um i mean there was a whole outcry about depaul and di maria and all of these players for argentina and maybe messi has a hamstring injury now and yada 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 mm -hmm. nula mufa nula mufa but i mean every, everybody's going to show up it's the world cup final you don't you don't miss that because you have a cough you know, you pay off the doctors yeah. so you can show up to play. You get so, the steroid shot in the bum. You get the steroid shot in the bum and you go out there and you compete. So yeah. I, I don't know. I, that to me right now, that's just a bunch of noise. That's just people looking for something to cover because they've had unlimited soccer content for the last three weeks to post about. And now all of a sudden there's nothing. Yeah. I will say, though, Upa Makano and Rabio did miss the semifinals game because of this illness. They were like quarantining, and now it's it's spreading like the bubonic plague. So I feel like 
if if this is mind games, this is like 4D chess. Like Deschamps went to Rabiot and was like, "Look, I know you're fully able to play, yeah. but we're gonna put you in quarantine. You're gonna miss out in the semifinal because we need to make the Argentines think that we're just gonna be decimated. You know, we're we're putting the kit man in at like center mid to start the Ar- game. Argentina needs to keep their head out of the media. That I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you right now. Scaloni should have taken all their cell phones." And just locked him up. You get to see your family for 12 hours once a week. And that's it. No One hour sexy world. time with the wife or the girlfriend. And that's it. Conjugal visits. Yeah. Conjugal visits. And even then, she got to be COVID tested. There's got to be a pH balance test. There's got to be, uh, we don't want any sore throats. We don't want, mm. we don't want uh, hamstring injuries. Uh, personally, the abdominals are, are a tricky issue for myself. So, you know, we want stretch fitness tests before and after. Roll it out. Roll that shit out. And then you going on a, a half mile walk on an incline. Just to cool those muscles down. I'm on telling a five you, dude, incline? Yeah. On a five incline. There it is. This man's got it down. He does it. Yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's what I just finished doing that. So if I can do it, I'm sure Rodrigo DePaul can. I'm shocked that according to at least this one website I'm looking at, Argentina are slight favorites, like barely favorites. Wrong. Wrong. I, th- Wrong. I think they're the underdog in this, Jake. Wrong. Yes. What do you think? You got no uh, bloodline in the game here. You think that they're the underdogs here? Um, I think they are. I think people are expecting France to win, win a double. Honestly, I think that's what the average fan is thinking. On paper, they should. They should. <sighs> Maybe the A team should. I, I they guess, are they are missing a lot of guys. I Not guess that the A team doesn't have injuries, but if if they had a Pogba and Nogolo Conte, if they had those dudes as well as like, I mean, I love Lord Giroud, but if they had a Benzema up top as well, then I'd be like, okay, you know, like an on fire Benzema for the French national team with those heavy hitters in the midfield. I'm sorry, then, I don't think I know who Nogolo Conte is. Nigolo, not Ingolo, Ingolo Kante. Oh, sorry, that was the American coming out of me. Sorry, Jake. So, <laughs> is Ingolo is that I French? Is that a French name? Shit. What's this? Name yeah, uh, Ingolo Kante for sure. Mm-hmm. French name, one hundred percent. Definitely. Kante, yeah, Kante I've French. definitely butchered more names. Ingolo. Than that. Okay, on. let's. Yeah, that's probably not. He uh, has Malian parents. There we go. Solve the riddle. There yeah. it is. Yeah. Well, it's, it's probably, probably a Malian figured out. Tell me, is yeah. Upamecano, is that a French last name? What about, is Mbappe a French last name? I actually don't know enough about Mbappe? French culture. That sounds crazy Mbappe? French. Yeah. Well, yeah, when you say it with a French accent. It's like, Mbappe. I'm not about to. I'm not about to do it live on stream, but if you say it with an African accent, I bet it sounds pretty African too. All right, say it with a country accent. Mbappe. Mbappe. <laughs> Mbappe. Still, sound, still Mbappe. sounds a little French. Yeah. No, no. Mbappe. Mbappe. Still sound a little. Mbappe. Mbappe. Conte sounds French. Sound French. Pogba. <laughs> Pogba. <laughs> What's that guy's name? Oliver Jirud? Jirud. Oliver Jiro. Uh, Oliver Jiro. <laughs> Karim oh. Benzema. <clears throat> no, ben but let me, let me tell y'all. Let me tell you what I don't like about this whole French illness, all these injuries and shit. I feel like it's going to be, it's like, becoming a situation where it's lose-lose for Argentina. You know what I mean? Because if they lose, then it's like, oh my God, Messi can't be the GOAT. He lost to the French B team. And then if Argentina wins, they're like, well, he only won because it was the French B team. He never would have beat the French A team if Pogba was here. And it's just like, why are y'all doing that? I hate that stuff. I, it, it reminds me like LeBron when he won the chip and they're like, well, if Draymond Green didn't get suspended, I'm like, well, he still came back down 3-0, bro. You still have to win the game. Don't yeah. Like, don't act like... France without Benzema's trash or without Pogba's trash. Club Pogba for club been booty anyways. You're probably doing him a favor. Konate, who's a third string, or he probably was the fifth center back on the French team. My man of the match in the semifinal. Dude saved the game against Morocco. He's behind Upa Makano, who's behind Kimpembe. So God willing, if you're the French, you want Konate to play again. I hope Upa Makano doesn't recover from that illness and he's out again. Upa Makano so almost just, cost them the England game. 
He did. Dude, Opa he's not was a good a liability. defender. He's a liability, bro. Konate yeah. came in and was literally better. No, nobody's bringing Konate in as their... No other country has a Konate as the sixth choice center back. That's why these excuses and this whole, like, trying to discredit Argentina or anybody else who would have lost to France is just stupid, man. Look. And it's lazy. Uh, we called this. We called this. The Argentina uh, winning this uh, or losing this, being a lose-lose. We called this. We called this before we called this before we even did the group predictions. We called this when I was still living in Houston almost a year ago. We knew this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. Um, it was almost a lose-lose when they won Copa America, too. Because if he loses that game, what? How could he possibly be the GOAT? He wins that. Yeah. Well, it's just South America. Well, Brazil wasn't looking their best. Well, their path to the finals there was easier. And now if 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 you know whatever happens here, well, we faced Australia. Well, the Netherlands, you know, the ref should have been fired. I don't know what excuses they're going to come up with come up with for Croatia, Jake. What have you seen? I haven't seen a lot. I haven't right. seen many, dude. That was that was pretty fair and square. Can oh, that's not true. That's not true. Everybody says that that first pen wasn't a pen. Not everybody, that but a lot of people. That first pen wasn't a pen. Where he decked Julian Alvarez, yeah. When he put his foot across an offensive player's direct running path, clear offensive yeah. attacking threat, and he fucking yeah. slide tackled him. Even that was Ivankovic's one mistake of the tournament, by the way. Singular yep. one. Yep. True. I think regardless of how this, I mean, unless Yoris plays his absolute heart out. And has like 15 saves this game. I think he's uh, Golden Glove. Or does it? Is that a statistical thing? Is it most saves? Or is that's it just a good best question. goalkeeping performance? That's a really good question. It should be best goalkeeping performance, but it, it might be saves. In which case, Livakovic has to be leading right now. Like Bunu, Bunu. Like a lot of people were saying Bunu for like best goalkeeper so far. Bunu's been good, but it's he's the Moroccan defense that has been like they're not even allowing shots on frame. The Croatian yeah. defense, they're doing their thing, but they're still leaking like a lot of half chances that Livakovic is saving. And a couple times he's outright saved their asses. He did against Japan. Yeah. He did against Brazil. Couldn't do it Correct. against Argentina. Well, the defense um, wasn't doing him any favors. Like, I'm sure that game looks a lot better for him if they stop that messy pass that goes back to Alvarez for Alvarez's second. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I thought or Alvarez's was, was that his bad. first? I don't remember. The, it's the penalty play. or where he like takes the run all by himself. Um, when Messi cuts up the right side and then passes in. That was That's the, the third goal. goal. That's the third That's goal. The third okay, goal. yeah. Damn, I was you're right. a fake fan. Bitch, I said it was his second. He didn't even watch. I'm going to fucking kill Connor, fake fan, confirmed. This will be known all along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, hates okay. Lock. See, it's a fucking lose-lose for me on this podcast. Yeah. I don't show up. I'm a bad guy. I get on here. You guys are like... Fuck this guy. He has zero ball knowledge, and he's ugly. Neither that's, of which are uh, true, <clears throat> as you can tell. By that's board. what happens when uh, you're an Argentina fan. You know what? The consequence right. of your action. I embrace it. I embrace it. I'm here for it. Um, I think uh, if you want some more of the uh, the boring publicist um, uh, pre-match presser uh, speech, I'm very proud of the boys. I'm proud of the performances they put in here. I'm going full Ted Lasso. You know, I'm just here to watch the progression of these boys uh, from day one, losing against Saudi Arabia, and then making it all the way up here. I mean, it's been a hell of a path they've gone through, and, and I'm just happy to see the team unite. I mean, we seeing uh, Serge, Mr. Aguero. Mr. Aguero, he quitting his Twitch streams to come and ball with the boys and practice. Yeah. There's a whole lot of good there. And I'm just happy that uh, my boy, uh, Mr. DePaul, and his girlfriend are on the up and ups because we're all worried <laughs> there for a little bit. Miss Teeny, whatever you're doing for that boy, keep doing it because it's working. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, he posted a picture of the two of them on his IG. I was like, look, as long as she's keeping him happy until the World Cup ends, I don't give a damn. Literally 48 hours. <laughs> yeah, like just don't hours, bottle it now. Fuck okay. What happens after that? I, don't, I literally could care less <laughs> after that. 48 hours. Just, just be just be nice. Send him a care package. Send him a no, don't send him a booty pick. We don't need any of that. We no, need, we don't need any of that. No, 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 no that's that. a distraction. None that is a distraction. Mm -hmm. That's when Scaloni takes the phone. That is when Scaloni's... Give me that shit. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, how the fuck does Argentina win this? How do we do it? How how, how can we possibly go and do this? Um, because I'm scared, and the French are scary, and they're all big and fast, and um, they've got great hair. The only thing we've got them on is A lot is of buzz cuts on that team, dude. It's a lot Our, of buzz yeah, cuts. But, no, but they're nice. They're nice buzz cuts, okay? Olivia Giroud's hair would look the same in 70-mile-an-hour okay, yes. wins, okay? Yeah, he's got That's hair. that. That much is true, but I would say if you compare the French fades against Tim Weah, let's say, I think the only French player who can give him a run for his money is probably Marcus Taram. Oh. His was looking clean in the semifinal. I'm not gonna lie. It was. It was. I ain't gonna lie, bro. His was Tim looking Weah, clean. Tim Weah got the fade. He does. Tim Weah's does gradient. Fade. I don't know what the. F- who? Well, does he learned from the French boys. That's why. Hey, he learned from the French boys. That's why. But, but hold on. I go back to my earlier question. How the hell do we do this? Is it just? Are we just? It's gonna all rely- on Enzo Fernandez. I was wow. not. That was the last person I was expecting you to. You know what? If, if he has a Marcus sitter of a I game and he lets Griezmann just run across the field and dish off assists, y'all are toast. It is. So it's in the midfield. We're back to the midfield. This is a midfield game. I again. think y'all got to yeah. clamp down Griezmann. I think you guys will win the midfield. And I might look like a freaking idiot saying that now, but I think <laughs> I you guys. Molina is going to have to have the game of his life. Molina right is going to have another game of his life. But, I mean, we saw Montiel do it against uh, Vinicius <clears> in the Copa America. The The Argentine fullbacks have been playing like dogs. And th- and that's what that's what it takes. You know, you need good defensive fullbacks. And I, I think that our fullbacks have been some of the best defensive fullbacks up to this point. They have been doing whatever it takes to get to balls. Um, they Ball. haven't been caught out on very many mistakes. Um, and, uh, and yeah, they've been dying for the balls out there. I also want to give a quick shout to Otamendi. I think, wow. I think his presence or maybe his lack thereof will, uh, affect the game tremendously. Yeah. Otamendi, I've been seeing him make a lot of best of the tournament. I hope, I hope he don't get too emotional. I've been seeing that too. I hope he I'm don't get too soon. emotional out there. I hope he doesn't get too emotional. I, yeah, I hope he he deflects all of that onto the opposition. A, a, a lot of this game is going to be mental. Because, because I mean, we we saw what happened in mm-hmm. the uh, – I mean, we were treated to just a banger of a game the last time Argentina and France met. I, I think we can all agree that that 4-3 to three, um, loss against France in 2018 was – I don't know if it was voted game of the tournament, but it was one of, if not. You know, I think Spain, Portugal beat them out, but that was an incredible France. game. Incredible game. Props. I mean, a banger of a goal from a defender. But yeah. what I liked about that game was that both teams looked very level headed. Like, in spite of that horrendous Otamendi chase down that um, gave uh, France the uh, the winning goal or the deciding goal there for Mbappe um, and a couple other small mistakes. Um, I thought both teams were, if not physically composed, they were at least mentally composed. And that gives you a good game. When we saw Argentina, Germany in 2014, Argentina could not get it together because Gonzalo Higuain couldn't finish because the man was out of his skin. He was playing like a freak. Athletically, he was a beast. He was producing, but he could not put it away. He could not finish because they got right here. Right here. He could not see himself, visualize himself putting that goal away. They got into our heads because they are rigid. They had the stronger mental side, and we've seen it with Croatia leading up to this point. We've got to have a Croatian mentality. We've got to, uh, up until this last loss, I, I would say they were mentally the strongest team in the tournament. The fact that Argentina were able to supersede that gives me a lot of confidence. I would be much more shaken going into this um, if we hadn't performed mm-hmm. the way we did against Croatia. That is the exact result we needed. That being said, Argentine ego is a fickle thing. Everybody, uh, we're, we're, we're being filled with one of the, one of the, the lines of our songs is uh, Ahora volvimos a ilusionar. We've returned to dream. We're filled with the illusion. 
ilusionar to the illusion, the the dream, the the sueños, all of that. I don't want any illusions. I want stark reality. They are better than us. We've got to go out. I wouldn't say it's David versus Goliath. I think we're just as big, but the guys that this team has a couple inches of reach on us. And we are going to have to get in up close and control the mental game. And I think you guys are right. You've convinced me. It's the midfield. It's the midfield, and our fullbacks are going to have to play their absolute socks off. <clears throat> yes. Yes. My total biases aside, I think the most important player outside of Messi, like I don't, it's hard to even mention Messi with in these conversations, like best 11s or like player to watch. Nobody, nobody wants to watch us be like, you know, there's a guy, Messi for Argentina. You should watch out for him. Everybody already knows that. Okay. Yeah. You, if Argentina Anything gets that, Messi magic, they'll be fine. They'll, yeah. they'll be fine. And, but I think yeah, well, Rodrigo DePaul has to have a good game. He does. He does. Cause he's also going to be on that right That's side. Right. So Mbappe, he's going to be the help on Mbappe and Taylor Hernandez, who's been one of the more kind of like strangely most dangerous attacking players for France. So that side of the field is going to be a battle. Yes. And Mbappe doesn't play defense, man. Like at all. Like the man refuses to play defense. He doesn't want to block anything. No interceptions. He, He will not even jog to get into position. The Paul can take advantage of that if if said Montiel, if Molina can get take advantage of that and push up the field, literally just dribble past Mbappe, he won't track. That's going to be where a lot of the danger is coming from, which is also Messi's side. Although, you know, Messi will probably be marked by Teo Hernandez, who's been having a beast of a tournament, except for that England game, who's a little shaky in that. But um, overall, man, I think it's like it's a winnable game for both teams. There's like a it way is. to see victory for both teams. Um, and I'll just say one last time, I think anybody discrediting a World Cup victory to any team beating this France squad, I just think is disingenuous because there's not a lot of teams at this World Cup that you could take their starting 11 in this French B team or 1.5 team starting 11 and combine the two and it wouldn't be majority French. That's just how, that's just how deep the French are. And that's why most people thought that they were going to repeat for the first time since, Oh God, help me out! Who's the last to repeat? Brazil repeat a while World ago. Cup champion? Yeah, Brazil. I don't think that it's ever happened. Yeah, there there have been back. Or might have been uh, it might have been Uruguay maybe for the let first me, two. Let me it's look like this the only up. time it happened. Let me I don't think it's up. ever happened. No, I that's think I think Brazil, Brazil has won back to backs. That's what my money's on. It's never happened. So who's your money on uh, to win it, Jake? I want Argentina to win. I've been honest it's about that fact want. since the beginning. I've been thinking straight up uh, Argentina. Ooh. This is interesting. Okay. How I'm right. interesting. Okay, so for the first uh, 1934, Italy. 1938, Italy. 1958, Brazil. 1962, Brazil. Do they count that 1938 one? Not the deep dive into... FIFA history. <laughs> that was probably a little testy there. Oh, man, um, I don't know. Uruguayans or... count everything that happened before 1950. I'll tell you that right now. So in recent memory, nobody has won back to back. No. Italy and Brazil are the only two to have won back to back. Okay. Oh so, my God! You want to hear something disgusting? 1958, Brazil won. 1962, Brazil won. Then England won in 66, and then Brazil won again in 1970. Yeah, yeah. That's I disgusting. think England beat Brazil in England for that game. That must have been a fucking insane. Well, not maybe not in 66, but <laughs> it, it should have been. Union I mean, got they. Fourth. I mean, they they knighted people after that game. That's why yeah. it's Sir Sir Bobby Charles. Oh, they fucking knight anybody. Who's the fucking ex coach for Newcastle? Isn't he knighted? Garrett Southgate's knighted for Christ's sake. No, he's not he knighted. No, no, he's not. Oh no, he's no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, that is that is that is a meme that I saw, and I. I okay, was I was like, okay, I was no like, way they, they did. No, but they, they they were talking about it for the sure. Queen oh, yeah. or the royal family has lost it if they. Uh, I mean, they have lost it, and he would have been knighted if they won the World Cup. I have no doubt about her. her. Oh yeah. 
Ugh. Anyways, um, <laughs> I, I I want I want to hear what our uh, what our subscribers are thinking for this game. Um, I really do. Yeah, I, I want to hear expectations in the bottom. Um, I let, yeah, uh, let, I let's talk about know. the penalties, Connor, because people are mad. They're really upset that Argentina has gotten like four pens. What would you say about that? Y'all cheating? I say that if we really want to have this discussion, I can sit everybody down with the FIFA rule book and we can go through like I teach my fourth graders and I can say, you see here, this is the physical contact and this is the box. If that happens inside of this <laughs> box while he has the ball, that means it's the, a pen. If you want an thing- indirect free kick, you can take it up with fucking VAR. Yeah. With all the other whiny babies, like let's let's talk about this. Acuna is probably the most arguable one, and even then, he drew the foul. He drew the foul. That's his job. right. It, it's it's clear part of the pen. game. Yeah, y'all, y'all are really good at selling it, though, and I think that's what aggravates people. Like, like I totally agree that all of the penalties thus far against Argentina have true. been penalties, but y'all like sell it. Like it's. It's 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 really really believable that like y'all just got your tendons hacked to shreds. I don't know that that penalty against Croatia took all of fifteen seconds for Messi to get the ball on the spot. Well, because that was a legit one. I mean, he fucking tackled them. Are you talking? So about the you're first saying one? that there's some that aren't legit? I'm saying some are tactical, tactically sold, and you're winning the pens. Which one? So, but who have- doesn't milk? No, no, no. Tell who me a doesn't- country that doesn't milk it. There Everybody isn't milks it. That, there isn't a team that plays professionally that doesn't milk it other than some of the bumfuck teams that play in the MLS, I feel like, where they feel like they got to be hard men out there. <laughs> Possibly. But so if everybody milks it, then by saying Argentina are good at milking it, isn't that like not really saying anything? If they're, just good at better it? Than, they're just better than average, I feel like. They're, they are believable. Mm. They are believable. All I'm saying is that we haven't seen, you know, those memes with the music where it's do, 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 You know, they did that to Neymar when he fucking fell and rolled probably, what, 20 yards? Oh, yeah. We haven't seen one of those. So, I mean. Y'all don't act like y'all die, but y'all definitely draw the foul. We definitely draw the foul. There's a fine line between that. I can think of... I just think you guys play direct, you guys being Argentina. I just think there's a lot of touches in the box as compared to other teams. Like, most teams are too fucking scared to get in the box with the ball. They just cross it. And, like, it's hard to draw a penalty off of a cross unless, like, the defender, like, elbows you in the face or something. But, like, Argentina, they especially Messi, like, he dribbles a lot in the box. People try to to tackle him. They can't because he's been on some other shit this tournament. And they just bring him down. I mean, when when was the last World Cup that he wasn't on some other shit? Twenty ten, probably twenty ten, because I don't remember it off the top of no. my head. Like a beastly performance, but yeah, that's because in the past three, everyone wants to see him win, so they're just letting him uh, walk across the competition. They're just letting him walk across the competition, exactly. <laughs> Egg fucking exactly. Yeah, he hasn't been to penalty shootouts. In <laughs> both of these four to three <laughs> loss against the fucking champions in 2018. Right, Pavarda to score that banger of a goal outside the goal of the tournament to beat Argentina, a struggling Argentina. <laughs> Sergio Aguero it's, scored a header for man, God's sake. What was the last time you that said happened? it right? You said it absolutely man. right. He's gotten and handed it to him. I want to see how the French defend uh, Argentina. Because I feel like if there's one big positive for Argentina, it's that they've already taken an L. And I know France lost to Tunisia. Ain't none of those players playing. I mean, the actual Argentine A-team got stunned by Saudi Arabia. They co- they rallied around the flag, and they've looked damn good ever since. I think the French maybe, I think they struggled against England a little bit, but they still came out on top. We talk about like, or Jake loves to talk about the South American ego. Honestly, Jake just thinks everybody's got an ego. But I feel like the French, I don't know. They're like already playing their like World Cup winning song in the background after games. I'm like, I think y'all are just, y'all y'all think you got in the bag too soon. It might be too soon. I don't know if they can do it again. 
I do I do like that about at least the the fans and like the hype surrounding Argentina. I've only seen one video where we're singing a song that says like Anula Mufa, but like we're going to do this. Uh but the majority of the songs are like we want. We want, we want this. Please, Diego, help us bring it back. Like we're, we've returned to dream again. Everything's still a dream. It's still an opportunity. We're endeavoring to do something historic. We we do not have this in the bag. Nobody's disillusioned here. Maybe it's because our economy's worse than it's been in a fucking long time. But like everybody's being very realistic about what's going on here. Um, but yeah, yeah, the dream is uh, the impossible dream is back. So I I still, to be completely frank with you. I cannot believe we're here. I cannot believe we've made it to the finals. I I was kind of stunned. Like, I think I was more hyped about the Australia game than I was about the Croatia one because I could not believe that it was happening. Like, when we scored the goals and we were up 3-0, I was, like, looking at the TV and I was like, I feel like I should be a lot more excited for this. And I think it's just because I was stunned. I'm still, frankly, I'm still a little bit stunned. I don't think my conscious mind has accepted it. But I will say that I woke up 30 minutes before my alarm this morning in a sweat, a cold sweat, having you out. nightmares about um, mm. this game. I woke up, I was like, Sunday. <laughs> and then I just Sunday. sat there. <laughs> Dude, I'm nervous. I'm not even Argentine. It's horrifying. I'm chill. It's horrifying. Yeah, Jake, don't give a damn. Well, Jake, you still got your Croatian boys playing for third? And no one gives a fuck. Well, you know, fuck you. I give a fuck. Why is everybody disrespecting this third place game at the World Cup? I want my team to get a bronze at the World Cup. That's badass. I feel like literally no one ever watches the third place game. When like you still get a medal. I I never got that. This third place game is uh, pretty important. It's big. And I would like to watch it because, um, I mean, think about it. If Morocco gets a third place medal the first african team to place at a world cup much less semifinals yeah. that will be yeah. historic and if croatia goes silver and then bronze two world cups in a row that's fucking insane that's, that's insane saying, dude. for this aging croatian team that nobody thought was gonna uh do anything relevant like that's good that's good either way it's a win-win for football this third place match it is it sure. is. And I'm like, if I'm looking back at the World Cup, I want to. What sounds better? My team got third or my team got fourth? Fourth is like, pfft. nobody gives a damn about fourth. Honestly, you might get a ribbon. Like, I don't know what they give them. Do you get a medal for fourth? Is it like, what's below bronze? Is it like aluminum? Is it nothing. copper? Like, I, no, don't, I don't know what you, it is. You go home. No gift basket. No Maybe. gift basket. But that's no that's how it should be. And that's what I'm saying. You think if you ask English fans, like, hey, don't you guys wish you got third at the last World Cup instead of fourth because y'all lost to Belgium again? I bet they'd all say yes. Everybody wants to get that third. So I don't know why, like, yeah, I'm excited for that game, too. We don't have time to talk about it, but, like, I'm looking forward to it. And like you said, like, it. it's an amazing narrative either way. First, first African team to get a bronze at the World Cup. Nobody thought it was Morocco. Moroccans didn't think it was going to be Morocco. Or Croatia medal top three back to back World Cups and they got a bronze in ninety eight. These guys are starting to become like like fucking what do you call it? Like World Cup uh I'll just say machines. Regulars? That's not what I was gonna say. Yes. Main like states. tenured. They're like tenured yeah. in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I was thinking. Four million people, man. Four million people. Three medals. Unreal. It's a big deal. For sure. I don't want to understand it. I don't want to understate it. It is a big deal. I will root for my Croats, my Croatian Jake. brothers and sisters out there. But I, I mean, it would be cool to see either team win the third place. What do you What do you think about uh, the Argentina Croatia game? I want to hear a little bit of your thoughts about it, Jake, because I personally kind of fumbled the bag there. I was running all around New York trying to find a fucking bar that was playing the game. And I eventually stumbled into a Croatian bar. The Croatians were very gracious, actually. Uh, Myself, Josh, and the two uh, friends we were with, we screamed, and the bartender, she was Argentine. 
no, no, no. This we met Larry later. Um, but we were uh, <laughs> we met him at another bar. Uh, we saw about thirty minutes of the uh, of the first half, and then we were able to watch the second. But it was kind of a a, a rough uh, objective or a rough time getting there. So I missed out on a large chunk of the first half. I did not have my focus on. I wasn't watching like the game. I did not do my proper analysis that I'm used to. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, I, I want to hear your thoughts. I'll keep it brief. I Croatia just looked they just looked like the weaker team. You know, honestly, I think that they just got outpossessed, outclassed even, and uh, a few defensive mistakes. I, I I mean, I don't think there's really there wasn't anything like egregiously wrong with um their game plan or anything. Their like game that. plan or anything yeah. like that. I, I just think that they were just the weaker side. I would say that there is more. I had more qualms with how Morocco played versus France than I did Croatia or how how Croatia played against Argentina. Yeah, you know, agreed. I think, uh, I think Croatia was trying out there. I mean, they just they don't have someone yeah. to score goals. Their best player is thirty seven, which I mean, you know, Messi's around that age as well, thirty six, thirty seven. He actually might be thirty seven. He's 36, um, I think. 36, 36. But like 35. But the reason I think why Argentina is going so far in this tournament is they don't have to rely on him 100% of the time. I yeah, feel 35. Croatia, they've got to rely on Modric 95% of the time. 90% of the time. You know, it's a very high, very high uh, game plan that, 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 that runs through him. him. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, I think it's more than just like him winning the ball or passing the ball out or dishing it, you know, like that. It's he's Mr. Croatia, you know, in a similar way mm-hmm. that Messi is Mr. Argentina. Um, I just think it's, it's, it's a different scale. For these well, and he characters. was, he was gassed after Brazil, like uh, a man of his oh, age. Yeah. I mean, they, like one, one or two days more, gassed. maybe it's a they, different game. They look tired. They, they definitely look tired. And I think they, honestly, I think they were just happy to be there. I, I mean, it was a very professional game. I don't think I saw. Was there maybe one yellow? Maybe two? I'll look it up. Um, there were um, two Livakovic yellows. at least got a yellow. Uh, you four yeah. yellows. Livakovic, four. Uh, Kovacic, uh, uh, Romero, and Otamendi. But they were like normal fouls. It wasn't like anything malicious yeah. or, mm. or or anything like that. Not from what, what I remember. Um so yeah, I mean, th- those are kind of my thoughts. I, I, I think Argentina was definitely the better team, ultimately. Yeah, it's interesting that you said that uh, Argentina uh, had more possession because you know, at like jerk reaction, I would say yeah, it definitely felt like they had more possession. They felt in control of the game the majority of the time. But I'm looking at some of these stats, and it it looks like 40 60 possession in favor of the Croatians. But I was gonna say, I, did they have more possession? <laughs> they no, were, but, no, but but genuinely, they were passing the ball around a lot more in, in the back line, trying to dissect the the Argentines. But I feel, I feel the uh, the Argentinians had more impactful and more valuable possession you're exactly correct it did it did feel like that it felt like we were playing with uh an extra man or an extra i mean y'all were controlling the game y'all were controlling the tempo of the game that it it looks very good and that's obviously that's what you want to see like if if you control the game nine times out of ten you're gonna you you're most likely going to win it but um i don't know if we're going to see that that again i'd ask bain about that Oh well, yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, well, I'm saying, look, Spain's an exception there. Uh, two L's back to back. Two L's back to back. But two L's back to back. I don't think that we're going to see that style of play uh, this World Cup, like uh, final. I, I, I highly doubt it. I think this is going to be, this is going to be a bloodbath. This is either. I think going you guys be, let the French have the ball. You think so? And play. I think you guys play counter because I think Argentina is very good at beating elite teams when they can sit back and, and counter. If France scores first and Argentina has to take it to them and they're going to start getting situa- situations with Dembele, Mbappe, I mean, Giroud's not that fast, but still, like the French counterattack, that's going to be a problem. But I, I bet that Scaloni will let 
the the Argentine midfield, which you can make the argument is better overall than these current French midfielders, I think he'll be like, let him have it, at least for the opening, you know, twenty minutes to see what we can to see how vulnerable they are on the counter if we can catch them yeah. out. That's what I think will happen. I think I think you could you could summarize why Morocco and Croatia lost in the same sentence. They got scored on first. They're not teams that can possess the ball. They couldn't they couldn't answer. They are so yeah. good at playing how they play, and when they have to play a different style, which most teams at this World Cup have not had a plan B. Everybody when they go to plan B, it's gone to shit. Um, they've all lost, really. Um, that that's why. Yeah. You know, so I think the Croatians had a good game. Jake, I know you got to bounce. So if you want to, if you want to jump out now, Connor, do you want to keep talking or do you just want to end the yeah, end of here? I'm it's up to you. Up. I can keep okay. going. Hi, Jake. All right. I will go a few Peace, minutes. Peace, bro. A few minutes. See all right. All right, guys, leave Dude. a uh, leave a dub in the uh, comment section for Jake. Yeah, I got about five yeah. minutes. Then I got to go. That's all right. Game. That's all right. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, what do I got to say? Oh, I you know you want to know something? This is big. This is big. I'm I'm uh, friends associated with a Brazilian super fan. Um, she's okay. a friend of mine, and she texted me today to say that she is awestruck and can't believe that she was admitting this, but she is rooting for Argentina in the final. And I think I don't want to misquote her, but the gist of it was: I can't see myself rooting for these colonial fucks <laughs> or these colonizer fucks so argentina we've got the full support of brazil behind us yeah dude dude whatever reasoning you gotta latch on to like i'm i'm here for it man petty or not i think it's hilarious like sure you know as long as, here's how I'm, I'm at with football fans as long as you can take mudslinging both ways i don't give a damn it's all fair game. You know, if we're going to make fun of the English for, like, the queen dying, they have the right to make fun of the fact that they fucking burnt down the Capitol building. They marched in. We couldn't stop them. The army burnt that shit down. And if you can't take that, you a bitch. And you shouldn't be talking. It is what That's it just is. how I see it. It is what yeah. it is. It happened. They talk it about the Mal Malvinas all the time. There we go, dude. Talk about that go. shit all the time. I seen that shit on TikTok. I laughed. I'm not proud of it, but I laughed. Uh, that being said, El que no salta is un inglés. Those that know will know. As long as you can take it, as long as you can, you can take what you give out. I think it's fair game, dude. It is. I feel game. like. What, how do you feel about the people that that are coming out on Twitter and on YouTube and everything? I just feel like messy hate is at an all time high right now, and I don't. It's like the love is at an all time high. But I feel like the hate is at an all-time high, too, and I don't really understand that. I've never understood why people hate Messi, because, like, what is there to hate? The man doesn't have enough of a personality to to dislike him. I mean, maybe if you're, like, a devout Real Madrid fan, you can hate him because, I mean, that's the one time that his personality shows is in those finals. But I, I think it's more of an Argentina thing because, uh, I mean – I saw I saw something on uh, on Instagram and it said uh, Messi está maradoneando, so he's playing like Maradona right now. He's playing the mind games. That's what I, I mean, figured that meant. Yeah, he's playing a estilo Maradona, mm -hmm. Maradona or whatever. Like uh, the man, he comes up to Van Gaal. Shut your mouth. ¿Dónde está? ¿Qué miras, bobo? ¿Qué miras, bobo? What are you looking it's at? It's his villain arc, dude. It's his. That's what it's his says. villain arc. And you know what, baby? If if that's what Argentina has to do, that's what it is. Because we're not playing for anybody else in the world. We're not playing for Barcelona fans. We're not playing for club fans. We're playing for 45 million people who are in economic straits and um, have one dream. And that's to see this little 5'7 man win the greatest competition on the face of the planet. Mm -hmm. And I, I physically am still in awe, shock, cannot believe that he is back here again. Had no idea. Everybody said it, and I don't know how much of a part this uh, super the superstitions that I take part in. I don't know what good that does, but that's my way of contributing because I have no control any other way. So I'm going to sing as loud as I fucking can. Um, Croatians in the bar, they treated me very well, but I mean... 
it it's it's Argentina versus the world. Fuck everybody else right now. If you ain't with us, you're against us. Um, mm-hmm. That being said, I had a Colombian guy wish me luck today. Um, I had the Brazilian girl wish me luck today. Um, and I mean, I think we even had like an Ecuadorian in in the comments. Or no, I think it was a. I feel like Ecuadorians Ecuadorian and Argentines Twitter. don't have. I feel like there's not beef there. There's not beef like, there. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. But. Yeah. Somebody let us know. But I think so, somebody on Tinder messaged me and she was like, I fucking hate Argentines, but I, I like redheads. So I guess I'll go for this. And I was like, well, I'm desperate. So I guess I got to swipe right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. No, I left that shit on red. I ain't doing I'm, none of that. I'm, I'm chased. I'm chased until the final. Again, I have no idea no, no. what bearing that has, but if I can do it for DePaul, if that gives DePaul a little bit of extra support, whether he can feel it or not. I need that man. I, I hope that he is such a good game, dude. I feel like he got so unfairly crucified after the Saudi Arabia game. Everybody's making it seem like they lost all because of him and he was trash. I'm like, did you guys not forget that he was arguably player of the tournament for you guys in the Copa America? Yes. Arguably. I don't think, I don't know if they crown him it player was of the tournament. It was probably messy, of course. Messy. Of course. This is why, this is why I, we don't even break. I had somebody like, Leave a comment on one of our videos. They were like, oh, you guys didn't even mention Messi in this discussion. I forgot. Yeah, what yeah, I remember that. Too. We both responded. Everything that can be said about this man has been said. You yeah, want me like, to get on What do you want here? us to say? You want us to get on? And j- We've been going for 51 minutes. You want us to jerk off Messi for 51 minutes? I'll do it. I'll do it. I can do it. I could sit here. We can go through every single one of his goals. We'll do it for Ramos, too. But you don't want to hear that because we know. We know we've been there. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, depending on the results of... Sunday, I'll get on here. I'll give you a monologue. But yeah. I mean, the, everything that can be said about that man has been said. DePaul, I think it's, I think it's lazy journalism to it just is talk about journalism. Messi. It's like Correct. discrediting Enzo, Rodrigo de Paul, Molina, Acuna, Cuti Romero, like Otamendi. All the other pieces. That amazing have gotten tournament. Concerned. Yeah, yeah. You said it. You said it. I'm going to need you to say it again. Please. He's had an amazing tournament. Who? Otamendi. Outstanding. Thank in you. 2018, he was poor. No. But this World Cup, he has been very good. And I'm going to give 90% of the credit tournament. to Romero for that. Otamendi had a better tournament in 2018 than he did in 2022. That is That's crazy. a lie. No, no, that's cap. That's cap. That's cap. That's oh, cap. That's I'm playing. I'm playing. Yeah, I'm playing. yeah. I'm playing. Hold I'm playing. on. Playing. You need to walk that back. Jeez. I just, oh, dude, this, Lord. This, this has been too low energy. I just got to say some out-of-pocket shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, dude, I feel like... I mean, you correct me if I'm wrong, dude. I'm just, like, drained. I feel like my emotions, I have, like, nothing left to give. And, like, my team isn't even in it anymore. But, like, I'm still watching these games. My heart rate's accelerating every penalty shootout. I'm watching Brazil, Croatia penalty shootout. I I can barely breathe. I don't give a damn about either team, but I'm still, like, (laughs) like watching. I'm like, oh, God, here comes Brozovic's kick. I'm like, I can't even move. I'm literally paralyzed. And we've been doing this shit for five weeks. Dude. Or four weeks, or however long it is, dude. I'm, I'm like, how many? I'm like games? almost how many glad it's coming played? to an end. Oh, Over fifty, know. right? Is it fifty games? Has to be fifty plus. I think be. I've watched fifty plus games of soccer. I just want to map that 64. out really quick. We watched sixty-two games. We got two. I left. would say, I would say that I've watched a conservative fifty out of those. Yes. Full, full I on think- watched ninety minutes. I think I've watched fifty. So. Mm-hmm. 50 i probably when, missed five yeah 50 times 90 this isn't counting extra time 4500 minutes and <laughs> i mean every croatia game went an extra time <laughs> freaking unreal argentina going to pens like that's 70 hours of my life gone mm-hmm. i mean not gone yep. time well spent wouldn't have spent it any other way that's that's seventy hours of football, and then another 70, 70 hours talking about football. On top of that, More like it's been that. a damn marathon. And you spent about forty five minutes collectively editing all of those, so that cannot be undervalued. I was getting to the point where I'm like, I didn't even want to edit. I was like, we're just throwing this in. We're just upload uploading the full. No, thing. I don't. I don't. I don't know how you've been doing that. You've been unreal. <sighs> Somebody Drugs, said, what did, did you, did you send it to, no, Josh texted me or Josh showed it to me the other day. We were hanging out on the couch and he goes, <laughs> he was looking at the dead ball comments and he said, uh, Jack looked like 
2016 LeBron <laughs> carrying this team. And then somebody said Connor looked like JR with the Henny. <laughs> I said my brother that I saw that. I was like, this is the funniest shit I've ever seen, dude. Why didn't you send me that shit? That shit funny as hell. Well, I was going to bring that. it up on the... Don't comment to that. I don't know. That be, I don't know. That might be the best comment in dead ball history. That was, that that was hilarious. hilarious. That is God tier. I'm gonna pull it up because I sent it to my brother. We yeah, we gotta shout oh out these people because that I was like crying. It was so funny. That so the hilarious. initial comment was from Benji Sanchez, and then K. Anthony was the one who said Connor is J.R. Smith with the Henny. K. Anthony been around. I don't remember Benji Sanchez's name, but K. Anthony we see. He's been getting active lately. I think he might be a yeah. World Cup uh, subscriber during the World Cup. Yeah. Well, welcome, welcome. We're glad to have you in the ranks of uh, shithousery mm-hmm. here. We definitely need more of that energy. Yeah. Oh my God. Of course. I uh I put a community tab post today and I was like, we're gonna do a QA for Christmas. So I, I was saw asking that. people to leave uh leave some questions in the comments. I think we already have like seven. So if you're watching wow. this or listening to this, you know, head over there. Got Throw plenty more. There. You know, of course we'd prefer if it was a football question, but if you want to ask us something random, you know, totally fine. We don't give a damn. Uh we'll be doing a gift exchange too. I think Jake and I are gonna meet up. Connor will have to I'll open your gift for you. That's what's going to happen. Jake's going to give fuck? me your gift, and I'm going to open it. Well, like, I haven't gotten either of you shit. Got. I haven't gotten y'all shit because I'm broke as hell. So, Oh, dude, your thing's under the tree right now. God, it's dude. got a bow on it. It's pretty nice, if I do say so Guys, myself. Uh, let me know down in the comments uh, alternative um, means of income, preferably not sex work. Let's keep it clean in the mm, comments. That's what I was going to say. But, uh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Look, I've already it's tried feed, feed Finder. You got to pay to post your own feed pigs, so it's not. Yo, that's whack. Isn't it whack? That's what I'm saying. I got nice feet. Come on now. Damn. <sighs> Look, every, everybody let me shit. know how the hell I'm supposed to make some extra money to uh, to buy these motherfuckers. Probably a mystery jersey box. I'm assuming that that's what we're all doing. Jack probably has some beautiful, heartfelt, thought-out gift just because he's some – for some reason, this man is super good at gift-giving. Like, it is incredible. That is the only thing – emotionally in our relationship, I feel invalidated as a friend, as uh, – I mean, honestly, a family member at this point. <laughs> he provides nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. I'm like, all right, bro, I love you. And he's like, that's cat. And then he'll hang up on me. But the gifts. I'm like, we got an episode tomorrow. No, we got an episode tomorrow. You lazy <laughs> fat fuck. I'm like, uh, you don't even know. I'm I lost weight, and he's like, fuck you. <laughs> All of that's dog shit. That's that because I pay attention. I pay attention. I got a notes tab on everybody what to get them for for uh, Christmas presents and. Uh, Are you kidding me? Birthdays. Damn. No. That's just write it down. Sometimes I'm like scrolling on Instagram and I get an IG ad. And I'm like, I would never buy this because it's trash, but I know who would, who would like this. Connor. So I screenshot it and then I get it for you. This looks like an absolute piece of shit. I bet Connor would love it. <laughs> like, then I do. I'm like, me. incredible. You get yeah. off on this shit, don't you? You're like looking at me opening my presents and you're like, you stupid fuck. I had this plan from the beginning. I just like getting good gifts. I feel like if you... I, I don't like when people just give people like random stuff. I feel like you might as well like just give me a gift card. If you really like don't know to that degree, like if you're so off, just give me a gift card or don't give me anything at all. It's fine. You don't have to give yeah. me a gift. Not adding you, but just like people in general, you know. No, I got you. I'm very aware that gift giving is one of my weaknesses. Like I need to be pointed directly to that. My mother is an incredible gift giver. That is so her you're better than Jake. To For sure, you're better than Jake. I don't know. All the gifts that Jake's gotten me have been pretty banger. I mean, he sent me, I think the first gift he ever gave me was he accidentally got a, uh, did he get a Maradona or did he get a? It was Tevez, right? Me? It was a Carlito. Yeah. It's a Carlito it a Carlitos, on the back. Carlitos, Boca Juniors yeah, yeah, yeah. jersey. And Carlitos, he, ordered yeah, it on, yeah, yeah. he was like, this is the wrong size. So uh, I guess Merry Christmas. And I was like, what the, f- what the hell? But it was in like the middle of June. He was like, uh, you can have this. So everything he's given me has been objectively perfect. So I have no metric. That's fair. I think I'm just I'm just salty because the first time Jake and I ever got each other gifts, I got him a Croatia 
Maltrich jersey, like yeah. the checkered one. This man, this man got me a pair of just green socks. <laughs> just green socks. He was like, here it is. And I was like, are you shitting me? I'm like, I thought we said that we were going to spend 30 bucks or more. He said, give me he that got shit me back. Green socks, bro. I got him a Modric Croatia jersey. Illegally, but still, <laughs> man got me green socks from like Not Zoomies illegally, less than legally. Um, it was that. secondhand. It was outsourced. There outsourced. we go. That's, it was there outsourced. It there it Scratch is. it legal from the record, Your Honor. Cut um, that shit in post. All right, good. Uh, predictions down below. Connor's stressing. I'm stressing. Jake is emotionless, so he's fine. But you guys let us know how you feel about the final. We, we will be doing our video afterwards, okay? We're not going to do the live stream, but we'll do a reaction video as soon as we can. We can get that out for y'all. Um, also, remember the Q&A for Christmas. You can leave your questions down below on this video. You can send it to us on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, our pinned tweet on, on Twitter is also asking for questions. Um, or, you, can, you know, just leave it on this video. Either way, we're going to compile it all together. We're going to chat with y'all. Shit, we might talk for two hours, just like drinking wine and, and talking ball or whatever else y'all are interested in. So, you know, um, definitely, definitely do that. Um, we need two more reviews, guys. Two more for 50 yeah. reviews on streaming platforms. Studs. You guys are some studs. You actually listen to yeah, us. Dude. Like, I remember the days we'd be begging for this shit. Not a one. It'd be like a we were on week. four reviews for like three months. I know y'all are on fire now. Much obliged. Mm -hmm. I, I had know. people texting me, sliding into my DMs on Instagram, being like, "What can I do for y'all?" And I was like, "I don't know. Uh -huh. Find the <laughs> fucking social media." Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we really appreciate that. Y'all are some studs, yeah. and we're working on some yeah. shit behind the scenes for you guys. So let us get our stuff together. Let's get through this World Cup, and then we'll we'll work on getting some some more content for y'all. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and tell, tell your ladies, abuelitas, queridas, girlfriends, ex-girlfriends, anybody in your DMs right now. I know your mom trying to get a hold of you. 72 hours worth of football that you've consumed in these last few weeks. You know, she's been dying for a phone call. Tell her she got to wait until Sunday afternoon. All right. Yeah. You tell her Sunday afternoon, maybe Monday morning. You fit that call in this weekend, baby. It's for the boys. It's for the boys. It's for, it really it's for is. The, it's for the football fans. How about that? So we don't have time for to the catch culture. anybody up. It's for the culture. So the culture here, 48 hours. 48 hours, start the clock. Then we're all yours. All yours. 48 hours. I already told my girlfriend. I said, baby, don't, don't make plans this weekend. <laughs> said, don't talk to me. Don't yeah. talk to me. Stay out of this room. <laughs> That's why we're doing wine night tonight. Because I was like, I can't do this. Saturday and Sunday, I can't do this. So that's let's, it, let's get beautiful. the wine and get the cheese. We're going to sit down. We're going to watch a, a Christmas movie tonight. And what then don't talk to me for 48 hours. I left everybody on red. So, sorry. Well, I refuse to simp. Unlike yourself. I do too, baby. They That's why they on red. <laughs> when it, I'll simp every other day of the year. But once, once a, one month, every four You're years. You're just waiting on that one. That special someone. Hey. No, no, no. Nah, I don't give a fuck about that. One month every four years, I'm my own man. Outside of that, <laughs> I'll sell my soul. I don't give a fuck. The second they will come in, so you can be like, yo, my bad. I was asleep. Be like, I texted you three weeks ago. <laughs> Bro, I did that. I did that. I will find the messages. In 2018, I did that. This wonderful woman, wonderful woman I went oh, to college with, no. she was down bad. She was beautiful, fantastic. I mean, I still see her pictures on Instagram. Shout out, uh, Tori. That's my bad. That's my bad. I texted her. I was like, hey, yo, the World Cup was on. Uh, that's my bad. I'm so sorry. She completely ghosted me. Totally valid. Totally valid. So um, wherever you are, you look great. Um, in 48 hours, I'm totally free. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hit, hit Connor up uh, after the, the uh, results of the final on Sunday. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I know. Okay, guys. We appreciate you for watching or listening. We'll see you on the next one.